What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit is finally back, overflowing with effect. Sorry it's taking me so long to get back to you. I know you've probably been freaking out. What am I gonna do now? No Corduroy Paco. What a... But here we are, back again in the 1999 Mercury Mystique. That's one of the catches when you don't own your own gear. When the people who do own it want to use it, they kind of get precedence over it, which I think is nonsense. They're all like, okay, we need it. I'm like, I don't think you need it. It's like, well, we do need it. I'm like, no, nope. like, yep, yeah, no, nope. yeah, no, nope. yeah, nope. yeah, no. Nope. Come on, mine, our, mine, our, mine, mine, mine. mine. Then finally you're just like, okay, fine, you keep it then. I'm really lightheaded now, I won't even lie. But now we're back together. Put on your seatbelts, time to catch up. What's new with me? Nothing. What's new with you? Oh. One thing that happened while I was gone was Amy Winehouse died. I just done did a Ryan Dunn died thing, but this Amy Winehouse thing got me thinking about something else. After singers died, they always put out another album. That got me to thinking about actors and how now computer generated images are looking more and more like people. Like in the new Tron, they computer generated a young Jeff Bridges. Not perfect, but it looked pretty good. So you know that eventually they're gonna be able to computer generate a person to look exactly how they looked and move exactly how they move. What I'm pondering is, will one day after actors die, will they be able to computer generate them and put them in more movies? So after say Tom Cruise dies, is Tom Cruise still gonna be in movies? Whoa, that was a huge pass. And so then they can make like Mission Impossible 13 starring Tom Cruise years and years after he died. And then they could take a Tom Cruise of any year of his life. Like we want like, we want a risky business Tom Cruise. We want him dancing around in his underwear with his shades on. Like, okay, no problem. Boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 boop. I assume that's how easy it is to make computer generated people. If that happens, another question that arises from that, will young working actors now not only have to deal with the cutthroat world of acting against living people, but now you're also going against actors who have died and are still getting the roles. It was hard enough when they were alive. Now they can get them to say whatever they want, make them do whatever they want them to do. And then another question that I've just thought of now after trying to think of questions, will computer programmers become famous and movie stars? And now all of a sudden the celebrities aren't real people. The celebrities are the people who create the computer images of people. <laughs> my mind just blew up. I just blew myself. So that could be coming. When you heard it here first in Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. You gotta do a couple things for me, carpoolers. I know I'm asking a lot after taking such a long break. You gotta like, you gotta subscribe, you gotta tell your friends, and leave some comments. So carpoolers, until next time, remember, check your mirrors. And get an umbrella, I think.